Hi friends, today we have a new prop box. All right, I'm gonna show you and we're gonna try and get some things. So, just from a little view. So, today's theme is restaurant, cafe, fast food. We'll see what we can find. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is get ready to go. So, we've got a handy dandy apron. Uh, we've got our hat. And it wouldn't be complete without a little main pig. All right, now, when we're talking about food, the most important thing is safety, right? So we're always gonna start by washing our hands. So we have a soap dispenser. Now, now, we need like a cookbook menu, right? How are we gonna know what we wanna order? So it's got all these super cute like, fish cake, A little purse cake that's adorable all right so now there's no way to tell what we really want if we don't get our order taken so we have a clipboard with some paper and a jar of pencil crayons which can also be used in any way all right what do we have next so no coffee shop would be complete without a coffee cup but who knows what else can we do with it we can scoop we can drink maybe we could splash so we have a coffee cup and a couple more cups a lid and then we have Sunday dishes so I only got the one size, but we can have multiple sizes. Um, and they also have lids, which um, we can use to go like this. And then open, closed, open, closed, open. And we have a coffee maker. Now, this is glass. It does have plastic on it. I have dropped it. It has not broken lid comes off now we could also give a little bit of sand or something maybe something easier to clean up to put into the bottom to use as coffee grounds okay who does not love a deal at a restaurant so we have some coupons that i grabbed from the recycling once again so it's great because i can get all of this stuff just from my recycling bin Now, things would not be complete without payment. So, we have plastic money, and we have coins marked, or poker chips marked with values on them. Some salt and pepper shakers. Ketchup and mustard bottles. Another cup. We have a little fry bag. Okay, now this, when I originally bought it, I bought it to use as a vase. But since then I've used it as a vase, I've made juice in it. It's, it's great, possibilities endless. All right, we've got another little hat. We have a pizza box or you can use it as a pizza box, however you prefer. Now, the last item, we have a margarine container, which can be used for many things. But inside, we have felt and fabric paint and scissors. Um, so the kids can cut out their own food, make their own food, decorate it however they like. Um, yeah. And last but not least, 
we have our box or our bag that can be used to carry all of this. Um, it can lead into a shopping activity. Who knows? So the reason I chose to do this was because everything here I just had as recycling um, or <laughs> work attire, um, but I have lots extra. Um, so we can all go into the bag. Also, yeah, once again, like just being able to recycle everything, I think is super important because I mean, okay, you get a coffee every day, you rinse it out when you're done, the cup gets broken two days later. Well, you already have a backup cup. So three activity extension ideas, um, like I kind of mentioned, could be a grocery store. We have our shopping bag, and we just have various items that can go, you can buy at a grocery store. Um, and then we also, then we also had our money, which can lead into counting. Um, once again, can be related to a grocery store because that's where you have your most money interactions as a child, is going grocery shopping with your parents. Um, obviously, it can also lead into kitchen play because we have all of these cups and like coffee makers and even maybe a vase for table decor. We'll see how the kids play with it. And lastly, um, it could lead into like a medical theme just because, you know, we have the soap bottle and we can explain, okay, we always need to wash our hands to keep ourselves and other people safe. All right, that's our prop box. Let's go play.